डिस्कस वॉट हाउ टू काउंट नंबर ऑफ रोज अफेक्टेड बाई ऑपडेट इन पी एर एस क्यूर सो हेयर आई एम यूजिंग द टेबल ई एम पी एंड दिस इज द रिकॉर्ड नाउ लेट सी द क्यूरीज सो फर्स्ट यो वी नीड टू सेट यो सेट सर्वर आउटपुट ऑन सो दिस वी नीड टू सेव दैट देन आफ्टर लेट्स राइट यो डिक्लेयर एंड डिक्लेयर दिस प्लेस आई इक्वल टू नंबर i variable is now this is number time or uh, then after let's use here begin there after here let's use update a statement updating emp table so updating emp table stating here e name is the column so here you can see e name is the columns okay and to uh, here setting e name is now gems so here in am setting gems the condition is there so for condition we well, we need to use here where clause so condition is there dpt number equal to let's give here 30 so when that found here 30 this place here the name that changes or says to gems and uh, after that let's use here i variable i colon equal to then or this place writing here is equal ampersand row count so this is the important to uh, thing is there is equal ampersand row count so is equal ampersand row count refers to most recently executed statement to save the attribute value later assign it to a local variable immediately so when that execute here then or uh, here whatever the value that count that immediately assigned to variable i so when that true then here that's come this places i value here assign then after every time or here this condition is true every time the value of i that changes and here row count that changes and that value is stored to i after that let's use here commit so this will do some commit and uh, the next is let's write here dbms underscore output dot put line put line and this place going to print here the value of i and begin then let's write here and so if i run this query then when that font 30 so 30 place that change to Says to James. Now let's run. So total it was six times, and that changed. Now let's so uh, see here. So here you can see that James to James. So here one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. So this is how we can do. So this is how we can count number of rows affected by update in PL as well. Okay, so one time going to repeat this all. So first here you need to set the server output on when you are using PL SQL. I variable taken. This is number time. Updating EMP and here setting E name James when that font thirty. And here, so first time that font here. This is now thirty. This here thirty. So this is true. The name that changes. and after that this count row 1 then again that font this place is 30 so here then again that do the update and this place here row count is now or to that i value is not to like this that continue on and finally this print here the value of i so i hope guys this video is the helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see next week thank you